Okay, bye, everybody. Mazzy back with you again. Uh, you're going to get a rare look here that you never get to see, which is my workbench is a total disaster. Um, I'm just working away on this Catalina. Uh, doing all kinds of things I've never tried before. Um, the... Well, the, the chassis part is done. So let me start there. I don't have the wheels on it yet, but other than that, it's it's all grimy and the way it was supposed to be. Uh, the underneath is done. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Uh, so that's done. I just have to put the wheels and tires on, which, as I said, was going to be the, the ones off of the, the truck we was going to put on there. Um... So that part's all done. You see, I've got holes and stuff off the exhaust. Uh, I've taken some, which is not really showing up here real well, some powders. Uh, put some black stains around all the holes. Uh, one exhaust pipe is rotted off, like right here. It's all broken, torn, and rotted off here. The other one's rotted off over here and torn and broke back and. So we've got that done. Um, so yeah, there's quite a bit of detail there. Uh, just a few little things, odd and, un odd and ends left to, to go on that. Uh, so I have to flock the carpet and get that all ready. <clears throat> so in the course of doing all that, i done the interior, you can see sitting here. And i done this tricolor. Uh, which I was going to put on the inside like it had been re redone and um, once I put that it's all dusty once I put that beside beside that it just kind of looked really out of place so I've now decided to go ahead and weather you know the interior so I'm still going to have a nice shiny black outside. The rims are still going to be shiny. Um, you can see I've cut the the nuts and stuff off. The lug nuts that was here. I drilled them out. Uh, then I had to go back and fill all the holes. Which you can't really see. Unless I zoom in here. If I can zoom in. There's going to be too much light, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's, oh, there we had it. Where was that? I filled in all the holes. Then I'll put those uh, nuts over it. And somebody, I forgot to answer that question, asked me what size nuts I was going to use. And, you know, I... I uh, forgot to answer that. I'm so sorry about that. I um, nuts and bolts. I think I'm using the point zero point zero forties is what I'm using. I have two different size. The small ones, which I don't have the card for, are just too small. So I'm gonna jump up to the bigger size, which is a zero. Point zero forties, and again you can't see them. It's going to be the size here, the zero point forties or point zero forties. I'm sorry. So it'll be these because these here are going to be just too too small for that size of a, of a uh, rim. Play rim up here. You can see it's going to be too too small. So if I go to the next size, I think it'll show up pretty good. It should be pretty nice. So we're going to go with the point zero forties. So I hope that answers your question. Um, there. So now we get that answered. Sorry about that. So all right. So <clears throat> we're, um, yeah, we've got this I must be all that. Let me get zoomed back in here again. Or zoomed out or what are we going to do? 
So, we're weathering this stuff all up. Uh, the dash we've been working on. Um, I had a buddy talk me into using uh, this Mission Models Chrome. And I've been playing that stuff. And I've not quite got... I got a lot more playing to go with it. It's... There's two different samples here. <clears throat> you can see it, it kind of it'll reflect, but I'm not getting... I'm just not getting what I should be getting. It's not my old chrome, so... I went and used some of it on this. <clears throat> so I put that on the dash here. So I have the chrome on the dash. And I have the speedometer and all on there. But you see I have the the uh, speaker cut out on top and now I'm going to go over it with this little piece of uh, paper towel I took a piece of napkin rather I'm sorry a piece of napkin toward in half I'm going to go over the dip in white glue a mixture of white glue put it on there and kind of create some cracks and buckles and things like what happen in, the, in the, the heat, you know, when they sit out in the weather a lot. And of course, fold it down inside of that where that speaker goes. And then I'll tape this stuff off and repaint that to match the color again. And fold it all under around where it goes. And then I'll give me the, the beat up dash, the cracks and, and all in the dash. And then the, the whoa that back over here thing flimsy on the side panels we're going to take the speakers here cut those out and we'll have some wires hanging out there as well um don't know what else we're going to do we might chip up some of the armrests like maybe there's some foam missing out of the armrests been tore out of that a little bit <clears throat> the seats here we're going to chew in from the bottom take out a big chunk of the seat Maybe a little spot over here. Put some wires and some little coiled wires and stuff in there, and put some some uh, gauze and stuff in behind that, so the seats wore through. I wanted to do it on the back, but I've got the back panel on, so I won't be able to get in there to do the back unless I take that off. And I don't really want to do that. And the back seat will probably just dirty that up real good, make it kind of dusty and dirty and worn some but it wouldn't be worth through because it's not going to be having as much use as the front front two seats so that's about as far as I've gotten so far the body's still <clears throat> just sitting here I sanded the top a little bit but uh, other than that it's just still waiting so that's where we're at guys uh, that's our, our game plan for now uh, so far, the weathering has all been done with these little pastel chalks. You can see I just scrape a little bit off. And uh, since this is all lacquer, uh, nothing nothing here was clear coated. And um, I just got some uh, of this. So I got, well, I had some other, and it kind of went bad on me. But I got some of those other mineral spirits. Hobby Lobby, and I would brush you can brush that right over top of this lacquer stuff, and it won't bother it. And then just dip your brush in whatever powder you want, and just brush it on, and it'll transfer the powder right to that. And when it dries, you can rub it to whatever, whatever consistency you want, and mix all the powders together, make whatever color you want. It's kind of cool. And of course, I have all the the AK weathering paints and stuff down here, but I've not used none of that yet. This has just been all the the powders. So just let you know I've been using. So okay guys, that's gonna be it for now. I'll get this uploaded and see how it goes. And uh thanks for watching. Stay tuned and bye bye for now. <laughs>